Last week I made uh, several different build videos, a 400, a 650, a 1250, 1200, something like that, and I promised a $3,200 machine. Well, I've been playing lots of basketball and goofing off, but right here is the $3,200 machine. Let me preface this by saying this is what I would build if someone gave me $3,200. I would probably go dig under the couch and sell my car and uh, get a little bit more money so I could get a second graphics card, but uh, I'm building my machine for a combination of things because I like to render, I, you know, I do a lot of video editing. Maybe I'll be making a video game. Maybe a little Viking will be making a video game and she would like to jump on the computer. So my machine is going to have gaming in mind, but it's also going to have rendering and that sort of thing in mind as well. Didn't go for the Xeon, but I almost went for the Xeon. But I did go Socket 2011. So let's get started with the CPU. Intel Core i7-3930K. It's a six core. I love this. I love this CPU. Someone was like, dude, you're buying a dead Socket. Socket 2011, dude, shove it up your ass. <laughs> I love Socket 2011. It's got all the PCI Express 3.0 lanes that I could ever want. So it makes me very happy. And it's freaking huge. I like massive CPUs. If you guys are going to be doing a, a gaming machine, you won't be sacrificing much if you grab one of these. This is the 3820. It's a quad core. You can overclock the hell out of it. In games, it's only one to two frames per second slower than the 3930K. Um, but really, if you're going to be doing gaming, go for one of those. You're going to save yourself a couple hundred bucks and you'll be happy. And I know there's not a K on the end of it. You know, like you always want a K because that's an unlocked multiplier, but still, you can overclock this thing like crazy. It's I mean, I've got one. <laughs> I really like it. For the cooler, because we're going to be overlock overclocking, uh, we're going to go with the Corsair H100, and we're going to go with the push-pull configuration. Uh, I didn't put it on here, but if you guys can grab some uh, Gelid fans, G-E-L-I-D, grab like four of their hydro-bearing fans and put two on top, two on the bottom. You can do like a push-pull. If not, the H100 does have four uh, spots where you can plug up different fans, and it'll control all those fans, you know, so that'll be nice. Someone else mentioned, hey, dude, you're not going to go liquid? for the entire machine, like the graphics cards and everything, put like a you know reservoir in there and all that. No, I am not going to go liquid because the H100 does a very good job. I'm gonna be putting in like, if it was me, I'd be putting in like a 7970, I'd be putting in a, a you know, whatever whatever else comes out, 8970, a GTX, you know, 780, whatever comes out next, I'll be putting that in. And I don't really feel like messing around with everything. And they run nice and cool and they're overclocked and they're gonna max out all my games, probably even on a 2560 by 1600 display. So, or 2560 by 1440, yeah. For the motherboard, we're going big. We're going XL. We're going XL, son. MSI Big Bang. What's up? Big Bang, no Christians can ply. <laughs> Do Christians buy Big Bang motherboards? I don't discriminate. You guys can buy the Big Bang if you want to. You don't have to like its name, but you can like its features. Let's talk about what its features are. Seven PCI Express slots. No legacy slots. I miss legacy slots. That's why I got this ASRock. It's got a... Legacy slot, which makes it past proof. You guys can coin, you know, I, I coined that. Put it on my Wikipedia page. I'll never have a Wikipedia page. I should just, I should just jump, jump off a bridge, shouldn't I? Pretty much worthless if you don't have a Wikipedia page. <laughs> <laughs> my life is over. Bill O'Reilly has a Wikipedia page. <laughs> You're not even you, as you valuable can, as him. You can't explain that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot where I was. So anyway, the MXI, MSI Big Bang, you got four PCI Express 3 slots, three PCI Express 2.0 slots, and you can put a you know, PCI Express 1 or 4X card into any of those slots, and if everything will run, it'd be nice and happy. You got two Ethernet ports on the back, uh, six SATA 6 gigabit, four SATA 3 gigabit. You can do caching with this thing. It's freaking loaded, okay? And and, and it's also it also benchmarks well. Uh, even if it had all those features and, you know, like a micro ATX board benchmark better. I would lean toward that one just because of the benchmarks, but features plus the benchmarks being amazing, plus overclocking. The the you should see like the the capacitors and MOSFETs on this thing. The power is wonderful. For the memory, we're going to go with 32 gigabytes of Mushkin Redline memory, DDR3 2133. Um you're getting it for 144.98 per 16 gig kit. 32 gigabytes of this memory. It's not their uh, lowest cast. I think this one's like a cast of nine, but that's pretty good because of 2133. And man, this stuff is fast. Okay, now for the hard drives, we're going to do something interesting. We're, we're, of course, we're going to go SSD, uh, but we're not going to go with like a 512 megabyte SSD. We're going to go with the 240 uh, gigabyte, I said megabyte. We're going to go with a 240 gigabyte SSD. 
120 gigabyte SSD, and then we're going to go with a standard hard drive for storage. So here's how we're going to break it down. And I, and I want to tell you what, I, what we really looked at. Uh, we're going to go with the Kingston HyperX 3K 240 gigabyte. Now Wendell and I sat down and we looked at all these hard drives we've got. And we thought about what we were going to do. We, we took them apart and we looked at the PCBs and all that sort of thing. Kingston, uh, they just seemed higher quality. They've been running like, amazingly well. Wendell purchased several of these. I've got one myself. So we're going with that one. Uh, if it was like a smaller drive and we're trying to save some money, I'd still like the A data for like the smaller drives because you get a little bit more space with what you're doing. But if we're going all out, I'm going for the Kingston. It's like, you know, take them apart, look under the hood. I, I really like the Kingston a lot. For the storage drive, we're going to go with the Seagate. We're going with the Constellation ES.2. It's a three terabyte drive and um, 7200 RPM. It's really fast. It's about as close to enterprise grade as you can get. And um, we're also going to grab a second Kingston HyperX 3K. We're going to grab the 120 gigabyte version of that. And uh, that is going to be just for caching. So, you know, if you're editing videos and that sort of thing, and the video files are located on the three terabyte Seagate, the 120 gigabyte will be caching them and everything's going to be like twice as fast. It's going to make everything so fast. Okay, for the video card, we're going with the EVGA GeForce GTX 680 uh, with the two gigabyte. Uh, now this one I believe is clocked at like uh, 1.1 uh, gigahertz, so it's a little bit of an overclock, not much of an overclock, but we're going to go with one of those. I would prefer to go with two of those, but I spent a lot of my money on the RAM and the uh, the CPU because I want to be doing some rendering and that sort of thing, graphics editing, so I spent a lot of money there. Uh, the GTX, the reason I went with the EVGA, uh, GeForce GTX, well number one EVGA, uh, their quality is just stellar. Uh, number two, I went with the uh, GTX 680. Uh, because I like CUDA, and I use Premiere a lot, and a lot of the Adobe applications really like, uh, or they really seem to prefer the NVIDIA cards. Now, if you want, you can save some money and go for the AMD 7970. Uh, Sapphire has one that's even faster than anything on the market right now as far as a single GPU goes. They're cheaper. They're a tiny bit faster than the 680 in most most applications. And if you're doing 3D and stuff like that, they're the way to go because they you know, they work with a lot of 3D applications like Blender and 3D Studio Max, Maya. Um, and they're also the way to go if you're building a Bitcoin machine. But for most games, I'd still probably lean toward the GTX 680. They just seem to, to work a little bit better with it. And also Premiere. CUDA. Gotta have CUDA. Okay, for the case, I'm going with the NZXT Switch 810. Some people, some people may say that's a strange choice. There's so many cases out there. No, there are not. There are not that many cases uh, that are in the XL form factor. That's the uh, ATX XL form factor. So out of all those that are out there, that one's, I, I like simple. I like clean lines. That one's simple, has clean lines, really good airflow, not a gazillion features like some of the ones that are $500, but you know, this is, this is really good for uh, under $200. For the power supply, we need a lot of power and we need a lot of stability. So I'm going Seasonic and I'm going for the 1250. So the Seasonic 1250, um, I mean, really, if you're going to be getting a power supply, I mean, just make sure it's a, a good brand. Everything that I've ever taken apart from Seasonic, the inside was like, wow, these guys are using high quality parts, like Japanese capacitors. They're really, really nice on the inside. So uh, for something like this, I'm not going to trust it to anything uh, that's not at least as good as a Seasonic or better. So there you go. For the optical drive, yes, I'm grabbing an optical drive. Why not? We'll grab a Blu-ray writer. You know, who knows? Maybe we'll need to write something on a Blu-ray or maybe we'll just buy a bunch of Blu-rays and have a Blu-ray fight at the office. Blu-ray fight Thursday. It's going down. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, Thursday, Miami, Thursday. <laughs> you have to say Miami. Miami, arena, arena, Thursday. <laughs> they still do that kind of advertising down there, you know. So anyway, the price with all that stuff is 31. Oh, wait, 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 I almost forgot. You have to have a sound card. If you ain't got a sound card, then use a foo. I don't know, I, I almost would rather have a sound card than a second video card because if I'm listening to something, I'm, don't throw that at me. <laughs> if I'm listening to something and it's like um, using onboard sound, that would be like most regular people looking at a game on with onboard graphics versus a game that's using like dedicated graphics that's you guys get the diff, the analogy or whatever i did there i said i'm getting the next fight titanium and you can't stop me nobody can stop me <laughs> doing the big wingspan. arm wingspan you can't stop me i'm a spit fighter 
Um, so yeah, the total with the X5 titanium is 3175.32. Just under, just under the goal. That's shipped out the door too. Like just back it up to the house. Now, if you guys want a little more power, go ahead and throw a second GTX 680 in there. That's 36, um, 36.95 and 31 cents. All right, y'all. I'm about to dubstep my cell phone out of here. That's what them kids is listening to these days. Hip-hop and that dubstep yeah. and... That, that hip-hop and that dubstep and that mind-rottening music. I only listen to devil music, okay? <laughs> I was worried about gangsters with guns that hold them this way. I should be worried about those metalheads that'll tear your skin off. Uh, what was... Oh, yeah, I'm doing talking about a system. So that was the system. It's more of a utilitarian system that also has gaming components. If I was going to be building a gaming system, I would probably build it a little bit differently than that. So... I've said that several times. I just want to make sure that the preface is is there. It's not a preface anymore. It's a what do you what's the what's after a suffice? My suffice. All right, so there you have it. That's what I would build if I had thirty two hundred dollars. And you guys are not allowed to argue because it's completely right. <laughs> That's right. Join uh, Tech Syndicate, or else I'll murder your family. Uh, I haven't been threatening people. I should I should start doing that again. I have no idea. So I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys later. All right. Yeah, whatever. Uh, for the secondary drive, uh, for the I mean, guys, guys, for all you uh, big money ballers out there, shot ballers, yo yo. I, I don't know. Can we have like? Am I, you know any rap lyrics I could throw into this? I'm trying to spew here, or whatever they do. Spew. <laughs> I'm about to spew forth some lyrics. <laughs> oh, no, no. Spew is what I do when I hear rap. Yes. We're in the business world now, son. If you got $3,000, you better be doing something business. If you, if you have $3,000 and you're putting it all into a gaming system, you're a spoiled little bastard. And I hope you fall off a bridge. Land on your neck. Then you'll learn... Oh, you nothing. Just a bag of chips. And you'll get it when you least expect it. 2 a.m., me, and a bag of chips. Sunday on Fox. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, the closing, yes, I forgot the closing, yeah. Right. I think my surface is getting cold, so. What'd you make for surface? What am I gonna make for surface? Is that what you want? Want me to cook surface? What am I talking about?